Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fin Me Up Weekly Stock Watch where we cover the most important stock market news with additional opinions and insights. Also, this is AZ, if you haven't met her before. She's my, our little puppy and she is insured through Fin Me Up's pet insurance product called Pet Me Up. You can get a quote within one minute. The link is in the description and more details is in the description. Check that out and uh, see how much your dog or cat will cost you every month to give you some peace of mind that if something happens, that they are covered. Anyway, let's get into it. This week, we'll be covering Nospersh and Process, Argent, Renogen, and uh, Montauk. So stay tuned till the end. First of all, Nospersh slash Process. Nospersh and Process intend to remove the cross-holding structure. The announcement states that the removal of the structure will enable the continuation of the share repurchase program, and also Process will settle its minimum holding of Nospersh shares, resulting in the removal of cross-holding structure. Nasdaq will remain the, uh, with a control of process with a 72% voting interest. Nasdaq will remain a tax resident in South Africa and process will remain a tax resident in the Netherlands. So that's, that's, it could be very confusing that. Paul, please simplify that for us. We all know Nasdaq's process. It's one of the biggest success stories in the world. And uh, they're sitting on some really, really good companies, exciting companies, high growth companies, but there's also a lot of sour taste in the market regarding Nasdaq and Process. Paul, give us some insights. Yeah, so Nasdaq and Process, they two are the biggest companies on the JC and combined they are the biggest company in Africa. So you can actually see them as one essentially because how it works is quite weird for those of you who don't know. So Nasdaq is a massive holding company in Process as well. And then Nasdaq owns a large portion of Process and Process owns a large portion of Nasdaq. It's so weird. And the reason why they ha did the structure in the first place was to unlock some discount to NAV. Now, we've had this conversation a few times, but we haven't really talked about it. So maybe we'll actually make a video because it comes up a lot. Every single holding company. Remember, guys, you have a single companies, like individual companies on the JSC, but then you also have holding companies that basically own other companies. Now, every single holding company. Let's say it has three companies and every company is worth, let's say, five rand. So you have five rand plus five rand plus five rand. Together, they make 15 rand. We call that the sum of its parts, sum of parts. So the holding company, in theory, then should be worth 15 rand, right? Because it's three companies worth five rand each, but it is never like that. It always trades at a little bit of a discount. So let's say the holding company will be worth 12 rand, but the sum of its parts is actually worth 15 rand. We call that a discount to NAV. Now, that can be bigger or smaller. And in last past case, it was very, very big. There's a big disparity between Nasdaq and its main holding Tencent, which is a Chinese like, tech stock. So now this move was now to either basically unbundle that that to decrease the um, the reason for the yeah, to decrease that discount to Nasdaq. That's why the moment it was split up again, Nasdaq and Process, both of them increased in value because the the, the discount the, the discount to Nasdaq basically decreased. So I think you got let's do a video on that next time because it is a, a little bit of a com complex thing. And the market like that, that what it comes down to is the market like that. Um, it was actually a bad week for SA markets, but due to this move, it could, and nice person process being such a big part of our economy, the market actually, you know, went up. Yeah, because people have, are confident that this will actually lower that discount to net asset value, which at the end of the day will result in a share price moving upwards to close that discount gap. That is what the market is currently pricing in. But that's a great explanation. Thanks, Paul. And we will do a video on that. Speaking of videos that we will do, we have a few requests. One of those requests are uh, bonds, everything related to bonds, uh, which we will have a video on, and also Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. We got a few requests. Uh, let us know in the comments if there's other companies or other topics, other financial topics you want us to cover. We'll make vi videos as soon as we can. The next company is my second largest holding, and it's a company we've spoken of uh, quite a lot. And... Uh, they finally posted their results. That is Argent Industrial. The revenue was only up slightly, 1.1%. The reason for that is we actually saw a revenue decrease in South Africa, but a revenue increase offshore. So where they used to earn little money overseas, they now earn a lot overseas. And they're expanding uh, geographically other than South Africa. And if you go through the statements, uh, the, their uh, management highlighted it's a fun show uh, etc. We'll, we'll, we're not going to talk about that, but you can really see that the management is not happy about things in South Africa and that they are diversifying offshore. And I like that move. It just gives you that geographical diversification and a rand edge. That is why their EBITDA and their profits are actually up quite substantially this year. The profit for this year was up 23%. 
mostly due to their earnings offshore and all of, all of the benefits from that. Their operating profit up 15.2%, EBITDA up 12.8%. The total assets actually increased by 9.1%, where their total liabilities decreased by 79.9%. So assets increasing faster and actually lowering uh, the, the liabilities, which is great to see they are sitting on a proper cash balance. It's uh, above 200 million rand. Uh, and this is a small cap. They are still below a uh, 1 billion rand market cap, even though they are globally diversified with so many businesses. And also what we've been seeing is over the since 2019, they got rid of the businesses that are not doing well, doubling down on the businesses that are doing well and focusing offshore and, and expanding offshore. And they also highlighted, you know, that they didn't do any acquisitions in this year. But I wouldn't be surprised if you see a few acquisitions in the next 24 months from Argent in the offshore markets, as that is where they want to expand. And they are geographically diversified. It's not just UK that's doing well. They're also in Asia, starting in Australia. Uh, the, overall, their offshore markets are doing really well. Earnings per share up 25.2%. And then the dividend per share up 126% to the overall year of 95 cents, which is equal to a 6% dividend yield which is great. They're doing stock buybacks, growing the earnings, growing the revenue, even though it was slightly increasing their dividends. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the results. Paul, what are, what are your insights? You go, um, I don't want to spoil anything because I'm actually recording a stock savvy episode with Josh for Uni. It's also one of his largest holdings. By the way, congratulations. I know Argent is your second biggest holding. I wonder what number one is. No, just joking. And this stock did really, really well. It was also Anthony. Anthony also punted this one for, for quite a while now. So people made money. So if you're an Argent shareholder, congratulations. Why exactly do you own the share and do you understand the company? If you don't, or you would like more insights, Josh Fulin will tell us all about that. That video will drop, I think, by Wednesday or Thursday and, and next week. Yeah, so the stock service is where we cover companies in detail. We interview experts who really follow those companies. Mine one was on my largest holding, Santova. So you can check that video. The link is in the description. And I look forward to Josh's video. Also, uh, another company we're going to talk on now is Renogen, as well as Montauk and this Argent. Three of the five companies that was covered in the interview we did with Anthony Clark, also known as Small Talk Daily, link in the description as well. But overall, to conclude my summary on Argent, it's looking healthy. Uh, you know, they are expanding offshore locally. It's not looking good, but as expected, offshore is looking good. They are doubling down on that, doubling down on their good assets. Uh, one of their businesses that I really like and it's going to be interesting to watch is Fuel Proof um, that they're also now getting into hydrogen storage and, and transferring hydrogen. So uh, I, I think there's a big opportunity in hydrogen and this is a company that could benefit from that. So looking forward to, to see how that evolves um, and also looking forward to the Stock 7 video with Josh Fulian on that. The next company, Renogen, as we've covered them quite a few times before, but this is actually big news. Renogen received approval for a 500 million US dollar loan for phase two of their project from the US DFC, as well as a 250 million loan approved by Standard Bank. As we knew that Renogen is so very, very early and it still requires a lot of capital in order to get into phase two, which is the big thing. That is Renogen's make or break. If they pull it off and everything is as it's uh, dreamed about, it's going to be huge or it's going to fail. You know, that's the thing with high risk companies, but at least this funding on the one side, now they have a lot of debt to pay back. Um, and with interest, we didn't really know all of those terms. But at least now they've got the funding to go and prove how good the assets are that they are sitting on. What are your thoughts about this uh, news, Paul? I think this is brilliant news. You go, the market also liked it. Uh, Renogen, it's a big money that they need to pursue a big project. And if this big project actually pans out, in turn, we're going to make some big money. So... This is great, great, great for them still. Like we've said multiple times, the stars need to align. A lot needs to happen for this company. But this is a massive step in the right direction. I mean, $500 million. What's that? That's like, that's a lot of money. And then an additional $250 million. So that's enough money for them to get started and build what they need to build and, and then start actually extracting. So I think in a year from now, we're going to know, are we, gonna, are we going to the moon? Or do we shake hands and say, you know, we tried our best, but this one didn't work out. Yeah, I think it might even be more than a year. Uh, this is a really, really big project. And, and and the thing about these junior miners, I don't know if Renegade really classifies as a junior miner, but either they really make it, you, like you take the risk when you invest in companies like this, 
either, either they make it and it could be a massive return or they fail and you lost your money. And that's the risk you've, if you invest your energy and that's one of those risks. Um, but at least with these announcements, some of these announcements give us more confidence. For some, it, it makes it a bit more skeptical. Um, let us know what you think about these news uh, or about this news in, in the comments. The next company, Montauk Renewables, uh, also in the, the gas and, and the entire renewable space, they plan to develop a renewable natural gas RNG facility in California. The capital investment for the project is estimated between uh, 85 million and 95 million dollars. And the project aims to process large and growing volumes of biogas, exceeding the existing capacity of their REG facility. So in short, uh, it, this is now a very interesting company I started to follow. I'm going to keep a cl close eye on them and their developments. And it's just interesting to watch. Even if I don't invest, it's interesting to watch a lot of the people that I speak to who works in, in the renewable space. Some of people are really bullish on hydrogen, on LNG, uh, on natural gases going forward. So it's going to be very interesting to watch. Uh, I'm, I'm getting bullish on hydrogen as well. So those are, there's a few companies that I'm starting to look in now. We also have a basket on Easy Equities, a Fin Me Up basket in the, US, uh, the USD account. You can check those baskets. One of them is actually for clean energy. And uh, Air Products is one of the companies in that who deal in hydrogen. But speaking about Montauk, what do you think of uh, Montauk and, uh, and these developments, Paul? Yes, I'm, I'm in, in the same boat as you. you got. It's not a company that you hear about often. Uh, really recently, I've started to, to, to look at this company. And for, for those of you who don't know, Anthony does describe this in more detail, but, it's, but they basically go, uh, uh, they take the organic material at like waste dumps and they convert that into natural gas and electricity. So that's quite, I, I kind of like that. That's quite cool. It's, it, and, and, and like you said, it is an exciting narrative at the moment. So still a small company. I'm, 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 I'm learning more. So once again, I can just refer myself and you to the Anthony video because he's, at the end of the day, he's the expert on this company. Yes, definitely. So to summarize it all, lots happening. Pet Me Up is live for pet insurance. More details in the description. If you want to check that video with Anthony where he covers Argent, Montauk, uh, Renegen and two other companies, link in the description. If you're interested to learn more about Argent in detail, Paul is interviewing Josh Fulgurin, one of the Fin Me Up mentors on the Fin Me Up app. Uh, that is happening next week as well, so stay tuned for that video. Let us know if you are still playing the daily quiz on the Fin Me Up app. There's some incredible streaks, well done on those streaks. So a lot of things are happening. And also, if you want to learn more about Centova, I did a stock survey video on that also on this channel. Link also in the description. So in short, go to the description of this video and see what you want to know. And uh, hopefully you get lots of value. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the community. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.